Hey there. Today, we'll explore questions a woman often asks when she's starting to like you. I'll break down the psychology, give real-world examples, and throw in some advice. So buckle up. Your dating game is about to level up. One, what's your name? Now I know what you're thinking. Come on, that's just a basic question. But hold your horses, gentlemen. When a woman asks for your name, she's not just collecting data for her personal census. She's initiating a personal connection. Think about it. In this age of swiping left and right, taking the time to learn someone's name is like saying, hey, you're worth remembering. It's the first step in turning you from a random guy into a potential romantic interest. Here's a pro tip. When she asks for your name, don't just give a one word answer. Use it as an opportunity to share a fun fact or a story. Maybe you're named after your grandfather who was a World War II hero. Or perhaps your name means warrior in ancient Greek. Whatever it is, make it memorable. And hey, if you really want to impress her, ask for her name in return and use it in conversation. Trust me, hearing our name spoken by someone we're interested in, it's like music to our ears. Two, what do you do for fun? All right, fellas, pay attention to this one. When a woman asks about your hobbies, she's not just making small talk. She's trying to figure out if you two would have fun together. It's like she's mentally planning future date ideas. Pretty sneaky, huh? But here's the catch. Don't just rattle off a list of activities. Paint a picture. If you're into hiking, don't just say, I like hiking. Instead, try something like, I love escaping to the mountains on weekends. There's this amazing trail that leads to a hidden waterfall. The view is breathtaking. See what I did there? Not only did you share your hobby, but you also gave her a glimpse into your world. And who knows, she might just be imagining herself on that trail with you. Here's a little secret. We're not just interested in what you do, but why you do it. So don't be afraid to share what these activities mean to you. It shows depth and passion, two very attractive qualities. Three. What's your favorite type of music or movies? Now we're getting into the good stuff. When a woman asks about your taste in music or movies, she's trying to gauge your cultural compatibility. It's like a subtle personality test. But guys, this isn't just about listing your favorite bands or directors. It's an opportunity to show your passion and maybe even your sensitive side. Don't be afraid to get a little deep here. For example, instead of just saying, I like rock music, try something like, I'm a big fan of classic rock. There's something about the raw energy and storytelling in those songs that really resonates with me. Do you have a favorite era of music? See what I did there? Not only did you share your preference, but you also opened the door for her to share hers. It's all about creating a dialogue, not just answering questions. And here's a pro tip. If she mentions a band or movie you're not familiar with, don't fake it. Instead, show curiosity. Ask her what she likes about it. Women love a man who's open to new experiences. Four, are you seeing anyone? Okay, gentlemen, this is the million dollar question. When a woman asks if you're single, she might as well be holding up a neon sign that says, I'm interested. But here's the thing, how you answer this question is crucial. If you're single, don't just say, nope, I'm single. Instead, try something like, I'm not seeing anyone at the moment. I've been focusing on my career, hobbies, personal growth, but I'm open to the right connection. This response does two things. It confirms your availability and shows that you have a life outside of dating. Women love a man with ambition and interests. Now, if you're not single, honesty is the best policy. But remember, this question isn't just about your relationship status. It's often an invitation to discuss your views on relationships in general. So whether you're single or not, use this as an opportunity to share what you value in a partner or what you've learned from past relationships. Five, what's your star sign? Now, I know some of you might be rolling your eyes at this one, but hear me out, fellas. When a woman asks about your zodiac sign, she's not necessarily planning your wedding based on astrological compatibility. Often this question is a playful way to learn more about your personality. It's like a shortcut to discussing traits and characteristics without feeling too personal too soon. So even if you think astrology is complete nonsense, play along. It can lead to some fun and revealing conversations. Maybe you're a Taurus, known for being stubborn, but reliable. You could say something like, I'm a Taurus, they say we're stubborn, which might be true. I did spend three hours trying to assemble an Ikea shelf without reading the instructions last weekend. See what I did there? You acknowledged the astrological trait, but turned it into a humorous, relatable anecdote. It's a great way to keep the conversation flowing and maybe even share a laugh. And hey, if you really want to impress her, 
ask about her sign in return. Show interest in what she believes, even if it's not your cup of tea. Remember, open-mindedness is attractive. Six, do you have any siblings? When a woman asks about your family, she's trying to understand your background and values. Family dynamics can tell a lot about a person, and she's probably curious about how you relate to others. But don't just give her a headcount of your siblings. Share a story. Maybe you have a sister who always beat you at video games, or a brother who taught you how to change a tire. These little anecdotes give her insight into your relationships and your upbringing. For example, instead of just saying, I have two sisters, try something like, I'm the middle child between two sisters. Growing up, I was the designated spider catcher and jar opener. I like to think it prepared me for life's challenges. This kind of response not only answers her question, but also gives her a glimpse into your family dynamic and your sense of humor. Plus, it opens the door for her to share her own family stories. Remember guys, when she asks about your family, she's not just making small talk. She's trying to picture where you came from and maybe even imagining how she might fit into that picture someday. Seven, what's your favorite food? When a woman asks about your favorite food, she's not just planning where to order takeout from, she's gauging your openness to new experiences and maybe even daydreaming about future dinner dates. But don't just name a dish, tell a story about it. Maybe your favorite food is your grandmother's lasagna and you spent countless Sundays in her kitchen learning the secret recipe. Or perhaps you fell in love with sushi on a backpacking trip through Japan. For instance, instead of just saying, I love pizza, try something like, I'm a huge pizza fan. There's this little hole in the wall place downtown that makes the most amazing wood-fired margarita. Have you ever tried making pizza from scratch? It's a messy but fun adventure. See what I did there? You've shared your preference, a specific recommendation, and opened the door for a potential future activity. It's like planting the seed for a future date without being too forward. And here's a pro tip. Ask about her favorite food too. If she mentions something you've never tried, show enthusiasm about potentially trying it. Women love a man who's adventurous with his palate. Eight, where did you grow up? And for the last one, when a woman asks where you grew up, she's trying to understand your roots and how they've shaped you. This is your chance to paint a picture of your childhood. Was it a bustling city or a quiet small town? Did you spend your summers fishing at the lake or exploring museums? Instead of just naming a place, try something like, I grew up in a small town in Ohio, you know the kind, where everyone knows your business before you do. I spent my summers working at the local ice cream shop. To this day, I can't resist a good rocky road cone. This kind of response gives her insight into your background and your character. It shows where you came from and hints at how it's influenced who you are today. And here's the kicker. This question often leads to discussions about your current location. If you've moved, she might ask what brought you here. It's a great opportunity to talk about your goals and aspirations. Remember guys, she's not just interested in the geography. She wants to know your story. So there you have it, fellas. Eight questions a woman might ask when she's starting to like you. Remember, these aren't just questions to be answered. They're opportunities to connect and to share. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. Share your experiences in the comments. Until next time, your dream girl might be just one conversation away.